Hey guys, James with Newbie Drone here. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Cockroach Super Durable Frame for Micro Quadcopters. We're going to be comparing this to the stock Inductrix frame. We're also going to be doing a build for this using the Newbie Drone Black Series motors. So with the build we're going to be doing today, obviously we're going to be using the Cockroach Super Durable Frame. FX805 BTX Cam Combo. Newbie Drone B Brain Flight Controller, Newbie Drone BDR Black Series Motors, King Kong Tri Blade Micro Props, and one Newbie Drone Nitro Nectar 250 Ma High Voltage LiPo. That's it? <laughs> A Happy Meal? Mm. Well, maybe more than one. All right, so here we have the brand new Cockroach Super Durable Mini Quadcopter Frame. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. So um, this frame is, you know, pretty standard when it comes to the basic design, uh, meaning that it's going to be able to fit the standard stock Inductrix flight controller in here with the four mounting points, even with the battery and everything. It's going to be able to fit the uh, B Brain flight controller and also ones like the Furious FPV flight controller. Uh, a nice thing about this design is there's no side supports over here that the stock Inductrix frame will have. And um, as we can see over in this stock one, you'll see it has this little tab that goes uh, directly across right here. And that kind of gets in the way of the um, uh, bind button when you're trying to bind with a B brain, whereas on the cockroach, it doesn't have that. You get the uh, frame by these uh, cross supports, whereas in the stock Inductrix, they don't have that. They just have this one going straight across. So I find uh, this cross that goes all the way across and connects to the side housings here to be um, much sturdier uh, than this guy. Uh, the, one of the big differences you're going to get on this guy is the motor strut supports on the prop guard area. So you can see on the cockroach we've got you know four in total and they go directly across from each other. So when you kind of put pressure on one of these points you can see there's very little flex due to having a strut support on both sides. Whereas on the stock inductrix frame you know if you just go from one strut to the other it has much more flex because there's no strut giving you support right there so that's a, one big benefit of it right there um, on the bottom if we look at it you can see the stock inductrix has just one kind of bigger support so you know sometimes the battery will slide in and out and it may tilt down one way or the other whereas uh, on this cockroach you've got two nice supports here so even if it does slide around you've got you know support on either end so you're much less likely to have the battery falling out during one flight or kind of you know changing up the way your PIDs act if it's changing the whole you know balance of where the battery is in the frame while you're flying. Another thing I really like about the cockroach design is uh, the side support walls right here where the uh, flight controller mounts to is you'll notice the support is kind of curved on there whereas on the inductrix it's straight now I say I like this because whenever you're gonna hit something or not it's gonna give a lot more and have a lot more you know forgiveness when you start hitting things versus um, you know this where you hit it and uh, it's straight so it puts a lot more stress on it right there Another cool feature I really like on this frame is the uh, strut mounts on the cockroach is they are also curved. They come in at a curved angle where the inductric ones are straight across. So, uh, you know, in my mind when it's, you know, taking crashes and stuff on the inductrix frame, I know from flying a bunch of them, these struts are always the first thing to break. You know, no matter how careful you are, you're always going to crash. So, uh, you know, I'm really glad to see there's a design change here because that was always the biggest annoyance trying to glue them back and then the glue would like break right away no matter what you use or it would add weight or it would hit the prop or something so uh, uh, seeing how these are curved it looks like they're going to be a lot more forgiving and a lot more flexible especially when you got some kind of a you know downward force coming at them instead of just having a straight thing that's uh, very fragile and you can also see the uh, the contact points where uh, 
the strut connects to this you know motor mounting area it's got a lot more uh, connection whereas the uh, stock inductrix one is like pretty thin so you get a lot more uh, coverage on the strut overall so you know I'm really looking forward to uh, testing this out and seeing how long this holds up otherwise uh, let's get on with the build then and just point out one cool thing I found out about this cockroach frame. I didn't notice it at first when I was you know, looking at it and checking everything out. Uh, you probably won't notice it until you actually start building it, but at the bottom of each of these, where the motors sit, I'll try and get it to focus, there is a little plastic tab that comes up and the, it will stop the motor from going all the way in. So it gives a stopping point for the motor to rest so that the cable for the motor can come out and it won't get cut off or pinched or anything during installation. Also, it gives a great way for all the motors to sit evenly at the same level on each side. So, uh, I thought that was really cool because on the stock inductrix frame, uh, you know, you always gotta either, you know, run them a little bit high and then you gotta worry about, oh, are they all even sitting in there like that? And it's always kind of been a pain. And another huge pain that I found using any aftermarket motors or even the stock inductric motors on the stock inductrix frame is that the motors are super, super hard to push into the little motor mounts. Uh, whereas this cockroach frame, they were much, much easier, but still like pretty firm, but still much easier. Like the other one, you know, I had to put some force on there and, you know, hold the struts and like hope you don't break it. But uh, this thing, super easy to get the motors in there. So big thumbs up for that. Probably my favorite feature so far, ironically. Just want to let you guys know that in the middle. Let's get back to the build. So here is our finished product of our B-Brain flight controller with the new cockroach frame and the FX uh, camera and VTX all in one and the Newbie Drone Black Edition BDR motors. Very nice little guy. Let's see. Uh, you can see uh, one other cool thing I noticed with these motors is um, that since the little spacer that pushes the motors up is in the center of this, no matter what direction you put these motors in, the cord will never get tangled or hit on the bottom of that. So uh, that was another really cool feature I liked of this frame. So uh, let's go fly it now. <laughs> 